Aloha, it's Paul here at theborehq.co.uk and we're doing the unboxing of the Warlord Bolt Action IS2 Heavy Tank, Joseph Stalin 2 and the front box, a wee bit of art and down here gives us a wee picture of the cards that now come in it the stat card, uh, blast marker sh sheets and the decal sheet Round the sides, on the one edge tells you it's a late war tank, Soviet Union. And on the other edge, a little bit of info about tank wars and some bits and pieces you can buy. And then on the back of this box, a uh, little bit of the brief history blurb. Uh, three images of how you can paint it up. They include a tank commander of this one, and they also give you a sprue of Soviets to use as tank riders. So, thoughtful, interesting bit. So, let's open this up, try not to blind you with the sheen, and see what we get. So, opening it up, that's the box empty. Put that behind there. So, we get the damage and blast markers. They're quite handy, it's a nice wee touch. We also get the sprue of Russians to use as tank riders. Standard plastic infantry sheet. We get their weapons sprue and the bases for them. And then we have uh, instructions in color. And in there was the decals. You have a close up of that. Unfortunately, it would be nice if they came in a little plastic bag. I think in some of the tanks now, they put the stat card in with the decals in with a little plastic card. But that gives you the stats. Give you a close-up look at that. Gives you the points and experience, regular, etc. And on the back, uh, a bit about the options and any special rules and the weaponry it can take. So I think these are very handy. It's nice they've put those in. What else do we get in here? We get the instructions to put together the Soviet infantry. Just the usual instruction sheet there. We have a little bit of blurb from Italiari, who are in fact the makers of this model. Although it's badged up for Warlord and Bolt action. <clears throat> and then we have the instruction book um, a wee bit more detail about the different decals now these are numbered off so I'm assuming that somewhere it'll tell you somewhere on the back it gives you the where they have put the decals and which conversions you can do with them that again is a nice touch because we don't always know how they do up if you want to be a bit more historical and then go through the diagrams on the face of it, they look fairly straightforward. Going through, like most, they make up the tranks and the base hull, and they put on the top hull. So you have the hull, and then they usually move on to the turret. I don't think there are too many options with the IS-2. Can't see any there, so nothing that to worry about. And then we get the sprues. So just give me a second. We shall open this up. We should have had a wee hobby knife there for doing that. Sorry about that, folks. And I'll just cut into that. You probably wouldn't do it more gently than I just did it. <coughs> and this kit contains two plastic sprues for the actual IS-2 tank. We'll have a look at this one first. This gives you the base for the tracks and some bits of the hull and the detailing bits and the machine gun there we've got the uh, wheel and track there and we've got the tracks now these tracks come in eight pieces one two three four five six seven eight so once we do the build we'll let you know how easy that was and then the hull We've got the main hull, turret construction, and that's the the base of the hull there, and the fuel tanks, and the wee tank commander. Let me take those out the background. See the tank commander on the sprue there, and that way around. His arms folded. Seems a bit cross with what with the crews or the 
so we'll just about them. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct this one up and when it's constructed we'll give it a base coat and we'll let you see how it builds up. So we've made up the IS2 now and it's undercoated in grey primer. I've just blue tacked the wheels on because it needs to be painted yet obviously and dry fitted the machine gun and the tank commander's just blue tacked in there. But it is a very nice model. I like it much more than I thought I would do. We all know what my favourites are. Things I didn't like. Tracks came in pieces so they were more fiddly. But they actually went together beautifully. So yes, it took me longer to put together. But they actually do fit together very nicely. I still prefer one track fit though. Um... The turret as well comes in six pieces, so back, two sides, bottom, top, and then this front bit attaches on. And if you're not used to modelling, that could be quite fiddly, although it went together much neater and much more easily than I thought it would. Detailing on this tank isn't that bad, actually. I have to say I was quite pleased with it. Not as good as my favourites of course but oh there's one of the blue tack sides coming off there we go I'll just blue tack the the wheels on so we can spray this afterwards uh, so I did like it better than I thought I would I think it costs £20 to buy from Warlord the things I did like about it is so we get a sprue of tank riders that was a nice little touch that's probably worth a fiver in itself set of markers, a few pence but a nice touch love the cards you get so the IS2 you can buy it in at regular for 320 so it's quite hefty but it's a plus 10 armour and it does have the uh, heavy anti-tank gun but it's got the special rules which gives you the 3 inch template instead of the 2 inch template but it is a slow load so you can't use this as one of your first dice out the bag ah, value for money I think that's pretty good um, what else can you say about this love these wee cards I like the instructions on this very much although if you're making it up they've misnumbered that top track there can't remember the number it was, but it's not 46. I think it was maybe 43, perhaps. Anyway, you'll sort that out yourself. The other track's numbered up correctly, 41. So I'm guessing that track was actually 42, not 46. Apart from that, the instructions were pretty straightforward. The other thing that I really do like about this is that they tell you where the decals go and suggest and give you a wee bit more information about the decal sheet and though there isn't a huge amount of decals there's uh, plenty of them they give you that wee bit of instruction so if you're not an experienced historic gamer you can make something that other folk aren't going to turn around and go ah you can't get that so all in all it's quite a good job so let's go and see how it comes up when it's painted so here we have the finished model i finished it off using Mig ammo paints and you can see it all put together it has come up pretty nicely I wasn't all that happy with the green but it turned up all right uh, the tank commander obviously hasn't been done yet and is dry fitted and the machine gun is dry fitted so it's tilting off at a little bit of an angle we'll give you a bit more of a close up view See the detailing on it. it came up really nicely, really nicely indeed. Um, so the painting of it was pretty straightforward, but it was just the really the tracks were a bit awkward and the turret was a bit awkward. But other than that, it was absolutely fine. And I did drop down and I dropped the tank hatch. For this little bit here so I've put another tank hatch on so that's not the original for any of you that sh sh spot the mistake there but overall I was very pleased with the model and possibly one of the better 
Taliari kits that I've seen and done um, with the extras that you got in this one. Sorry for the zoom in there. So for the extras you got the wee smoke barrage, the sprue of tank riders, the bolt action card um, that we got with all the information and of course the where, what we've got there the deck L's which are really good and what I thought was a pretty good instruction booklet I think for what was it I think it was 20 pounds it is an excellent addition to your army so like and comment below and please subscribe to us if you haven't already take care for now